What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel Torque Drift on the mobile platform. We're here today to take a look at that R32 Skyline and a little build breakdown on it. But before we do that, we got some parts in a crate we want to see if we can get. And then we will do some drifting and then we'll take a look at the build down of what it's at right now. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And uh, make sure you tap that like button and do subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I would appreciate all the support. I think we're going to buy a body kit for this car before the end of this episode's off. So like I said, we're going to go hit this street. We're actually going to hit the slab. And just because it was the first one I really caught my eye. So we're going to hit the slab in the R32, try and catch some tandems, and then we'll take a look at the inner workings of the car. So looks like we're going against a 1152 horsepower Corvette. Haven't seen a Corvette in a while, so it's definitely cool to see the Corvettes back, but haven't seen one here in a minute. So slab, definitely wondering when Torque Drift is going to be coming out with a new update because... You know, the, it's no longer Christmas time, so the uh, snow should be going away very, very soon, I hope. Because uh, I'm tired of seeing it in real life, well, and, you know, in a game, but hey. So, Turk Trip definitely going to be coming back to the channel stronger this year, like uh, it was when I first started bringing it to the channel. More builds, more content, PC and on mobile. So, first of all, first lead run. Not a bad lead run at all in this uh, R32. So we've been getting a little more comfortable in the R32, but we still weren't anywhere near good enough for that man's lead. So apparently he was way better. I think we need to go into fourth gear. Because I think, I think now we need to uh, bump up the gear into fourth because it's like it used to be third, but I think I was kind of. Hesitating out in third, so we're gonna wow, he really launch down here. We're gonna try it in fourth, try chasing fourth. Wow, massive angle by the vet, and then we're into the wall. Well, rip on my part. I'm wondering if fourth gear would honestly be better. Oh, he was way on the outside, yeah, but fourth gear bogs down a lot more. So, third is still my money gear in this car, unfortunately. Uh, just does not have the power to hold up against a thousand horsepower Corvette. Even though I did crash, so there is that. If I didn't crash, then you know I probably would have done a lot better. But unfortunately, we kind of uh, we kind of messed up a big time on that one. So let's see what we're going against now. 196 horsepower E30. So a little bit closer to our power band, but still we have a little bit more power. But it doesn't mean anything. I think I've proven in some other videos that it's not always about how much power you have in the car. Take it in. That man just went nasty sideways too. I kind of uh, kind of bailed on that to try and prevent from smacking into the wall. Unfortunately, we lost all of our points, but we still should be able to possibly get a clean lead. Unfortunately, that's. Uh, it's not going to do us very good. So, not the best lead run by any means. But, hey, we haven't been on Torque Drift in a while, and this just shows what happens when you don't go on Torque Drift all the time and play it. You kind of lose, uh, lose your cool and lose your ability to chase and lead down and make amazing lines. So, we're going to see if we can't get a better chase. And we did last time, and I faulted out there. So, like I said, he's got less horsepower, but he's still able to pull on me. So there is that. Kind of get a clutch, kick it out. Kind of grabbing on his door. Whoa, that transition though. Oh, is he gonna double initiate? No, nope, no, nope, no. He's gonna stay. Oh, that was a uh, rough to say the least. But that transition though was on point. Quick flick transition, almost taking out his bumper. We did take the win though, because of that chase. So we can try and do one more here at slab, and then we're gonna switch up tracks to go to another track. E46, 607 horsepower on some snowflake wheels. Not to be confused with the original, you know, Volkswagen snowflakes, actual snowflake wheels. So here we go, we're gonna try and throw it in late. Get a good initiation, throw some massive angle. 
We wish we would have been closer to the wall. Last, famous last words of Evil Rabbit. And then we smacked the wall, but we didn't this time. We're way off line on this one. Not a very good line being painted on the slab today. But we're going to suck it back up towards these barriers. Kind of get a last ditch close calls. And finish the run off with a better run than I would have expected point wise. But hey, 87 to 47. So we do have a bit of a gap in our lead to his his lead. So if he wants to go and chase. Nope, he decided that's a no. Decided he was just going to bail out. So we're going to go test another track real quick here. And we'll go take a look at the settings so far of what I got on here. What do we got otherwise? We got Ocean Drive. We got the wall. We're going to go to the try the wall at in Japan and see how it works. Maybe second gear course, maybe a third gear course. The way this R32 works, it kind of uh, can stay in power in third gear. You can do the little flick trick to get a car. 523 horsepower, 46. Let's go. So this course is definitely uh, not one of my best ones, for sure. Because I usually enter in late. And I don't get close enough to the wall, so I don't get a lot of points. It's a very short course, but I don't get a lot of points because I kind of get away from the wall. And, well, that's because my curse, I usually smack into the wall. But we did get a better lead. So we're going to chase down this E46. And see what we can accomplish in the chase position. Oh, I over-angled that, but still kind of there. So 6,000 chase. These chase runs seem very pathetic compared to other chase runs on other tracks. But it's just so short. So let's go take a look at what we're rocking for setting. I think I can buy my... Uh, I think I might be able to actually buy the body kit that I've been wanting to get for the car. We shall see. I know I don't have enough, but I might have enough with uh, the gold 58. Yep, white body with a cage. We do have enough, so we are going to buy that. We don't have enough to instant buy it, so we're going to have to wait for that. So, 654 horsepower. We are running a Pro stir, uh, Stroked RB26 DET. As for our clutch that we just actually got, shift time and clutch kick are there. We didn't actually adjust that because we just got it. We are running as much boost as we can. We need to get a bigger turbo, that's for sure. For our ECU, everything is maxed out for 450,000, But what everybody wants to see suspension we're at 12 and 10 in the front um, and for our angle kit for our brakes we're at 50% front I probably could adjust that a little bit for our angle kit we still don't have a pro angle kit we're at 5 degrees of camber toe is negative 1 32nd and caster is 5 5 oh no go back uh, one thirty second. Okay. So for the rear suspension wise, we are at eight and eleven. A little bit softer in the rear, as always. Uh, we are rocking negative point seven one and one sixteenth. And then for our differential settings, it is fifty lock and final drive of four one. So we could adjust the final drive a little bit and change it up, but this is kind of where we're sitting at but the car does handle very well it does work very well on big tracks as well as small tracks so just for the sake of saying big tracks we're gonna go to Cali Bank we're gonna run the Cali Bank the traditional love-hate relationship with Cali Banks and try and chase ourselves down but just to uh, proof of concept of saying it's good and short courses and big courses what better big course than that of Cali Banks? Throw it in, initiate in. Kind of staying high up on the wall. Not too, too close to the wall. Don't want to 
you know, jinx myself and write the car off into the wall. There we go. Probably could have gotten closer to that wall, but we're staying this way. We're going to run the outside up on top. Wish I would have been a lot closer to that wall on that top, but nonetheless, over 100,000 point run. Not the best one because, you know, there's people that run 200 some thousands, but we were only running one. So we're going to chase ourselves down, see how close we can get, see what kind of door dive we can do on our own car before we go back and get some more online tandems. Throw ourselves in. Oh, oh, rip. I want to try that again. I kind of, uh, hit the wrong button. I meant to go left foot brake instead of handbrake. And I kind of ripped myself into the wall. There we go. That's kind of what I want to do. Oh, a little bit too aggressive on myself. Ooh. A little wall tap. A little wall graze. Nothing major. Kind of just... I would say mirroring ourselves, but we're kind of shaky a little bit in the chase. I could probably be chasing myself better because of my own run, but still a decent chase. So we're going to go see if we can get some anybody else to get some tandems with online before we end this episode off. Let's go back into the online session. So just a quick little build breakdown on the R32 I'm working with here on the mobile platform. Desert Palms. What's Gingerman? On getting Junior's full track. Go back to the slab. Slab's definitely a fun course. See what we can get. Part of me is sad that I actually got rid of mostly all my cars. I don't know how it happened. Somehow all my cars disappeared except for the skyline. So I no longer have my E46s and stuff like that. So unfortunately, all my cars are gone. And I got this right now plus a bunch of pro cars. So we're working back to getting some more cars in our fleet again here on torque drift oh this is a much better lead oh as i say that oh i tried to i tried to bail out of it i tried to to not smack that wall but you know wall meet rear bumper curse of me saying i like to get close to walls and that i was on a good run i should never say something because when i say something that happens 76k though to 55 so we're we gonna get a chase or is he gonna say nope i'm out and dip out like a lot of people have been doing recently and uh, yep dipped out said goodbye do not want to but he wants to do a rematch so he must have a better run in him so we can give him the benefit of the doubt and try to get a better run here this will probably be the last run here for today's episode Hope you guys enjoyed Torque Drift back on the channel. Going to be consistently bringing it back here more and more for you guys. Because you guys used to love the consistent Torque Drift. So at least two, maybe three times a week, we will be bringing Torque Drift back. Oh. Oh. We kind of did the same thing, but we were able to somewhat save it this time. So. Could have been much worse but we managed to keep our our car intact in a sense and keep the angle and the points for a nice over 100,000 point run and he disqualified. He did not finish the run so unfortunately that man, RIP to you dude, F's to that man. So if he's gonna try to go one more time, we're gonna maybe go one more time. And I don't think he wants to go one more time. So we're on a four win streak. Let's just do one more run, try and get that five, or we're going to lose and lose our winning streak. But I'm game for it. What do we got? 702 horsepower is 14. All right. Demons 004. Let's see what we can do in this. The final run here. And shift up to third. Late entry. Hard on the handbrake flick. Bring ourselves back up. Back up to the wall. Ooh. Really close to the wall, but missing those clips. Bring the car back into here. 
somehow managing to get that clip just before it timed out. Okay, all right, that's a better run. That's a much better run, even though we missed all those clips. Still uh, over 100k, so still happy with that. Still happy with that lead run. And he did not finish. So I think that will definitely do it here for today's episode. We got a five win streak. So make sure you guys follow me on social media. And once again, I appreciate all the support. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Hot Meeple Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.